Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I want to show you a fantastic innovation treating acne with peptides. So the actual material I'm going to be using today is Gran Active Acne by Gran Industries, and this material contains natural extracts, including honey and some plant extracts, along with patented peptide technology for absolutely outstanding results. It's even been shown to work even better when combined with salicylic acid. So I'm going to also show you how to incorporate salicylic acid into your anti-acne formulas easily, every time. So let me show you how it's made. This is the product we're gonna be making here and it's a beautifully light and soft anti-acne gel. It's perfect for your acne sufferers that also have really irritated skin. There's a lot of humectants in here and the materials I'm using don't cause excessive irritation. I am stabilizing this product using dilutin gum. And this is a material that's really stable in the presence of a lot of acids. So the first thing I'm going to do is just mix that gum with some glycerin. Now I'm just making a slurry so that it is super easy to add to the water phase. Then I can add it to my water phase and make a gel. One of the great things about the dilutin gum, not only is it really stable in an acidic environment, it also is non-tacky, which means this product is very much based around being a gel product, but it doesn't feel tacky on the skin of the user. Now that I've formed my gel, I'm actually going to prepare my salicylic acid. Now one of the best ways to prepare your salicylic acid is to put it into propane diol in a 10 is to one ratio. And give that a little stir. Now if I heat this gently, you'll find it will dissolve really well. As you can see, using that method makes it really easy to dissolve all of the salicylic acid. And one of the great things about dissolving it in this way is it won't recrystallize back out in my gel. As you can see, the dilutin gum handles that addition really easily. Now I'm going to add my active and stir this through. And again, you can see how easily the dilutin gum recovers from that addition. Finally, just add some preservative. Even though the product does have a low pH, it still does require some preservative coverage for those very opportunistic organisms. And there you have your anti-acne gel. Now the final pH of this product comes out automatically around three. Don't adjust it if you want to have the full bioavailability of that salicylic acid, which enhances the performance of the Gran Active Acne. Remember when you're going to use acids, you need to check your local country regulations to stay within the regulatory limits for your region. Now this product gets really rapid results and it's also really soothing and conditioning to the skin without any oil present and doesn't feel tacky at all. It's perfect for your acne sufferers. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learnt about some great innovative materials that will solve your acid formulation problems, as well as how to incorporate salicylic acid easily into your formulations without recrystallization. Please give the video a thumbs up, please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating!